Now for our next problem, we're going to look at factoring. We want to factor 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. We start by noticing that our leading coefficient is equal to 2. That tells us that we can factor that first term into 2x times x. Next, we're going to look at the constant term. We need to come up with factors that will give us positive 10. Our choices are 10 times 1, negative 10 times negative 1, 2 times 5, negative 2 times negative 5. We want to try these into our factorization to see which ones could work. Now, there are some things we can eliminate right off the bat. There was no common factor in the given trinomial. Therefore, there should be no common factor when we come into our factorization. So for instance, when we're looking at our first pairing, the 10 and the 1, we know that the 10 could not be in this first factor or else we would have a common factor. So if it was going to work, we would have to have a 1 here and a 10 there. Well, let's just see if that would possibly give us the answer. We'd have to have the plus here and a plus here. Well, obviously that's not going to work because we have to have a negative middle term, which we don't, aren't going to be able to come up with negatives here. So we can eliminate this from our choices. What if we had the 2x and the x, and we chose to use the factors of negative 10 and negative 1? For similar reasoning, we can't put the negative 10 with the 2 or else we'd have common factors. What if we have a negative 1 here and a negative 10 there? Our outer term would be negative 20, our inner term would be negative 21, and that's not what we're looking for. So we're going to eliminate that from our choices and move on. We have a 2x and our x. We have factors of 2 and 5. Well, if we think back to our first choice, these were all positive factors, but we need to end up with a negative middle term. So using that reasoning, we can eliminate that from our choices. So now let's look at our last choice to see if the factorization will work. We could use a negative 2 and a negative 5. We can't put the negative 2 with our first factor because then we'd have a common factor. So let's try the negative 5 here with the negative 2 there. Our outer term is going to give us negative 4x. Our inner term is going to give us negative 5x. And we put these together, we come up with our negative 9x. So the correct factorization for this problem is 2x minus 5 times x minus 2.